new favorite mug, frothed milk. Oh, this Monday's off to a good start. <laughs> Welcome to a Monday morning edition of the marathon. It's a little gloomy, it's a little dark. I wish you could see Thomas better. I'm sure he'll poke his head around. This guy's excited. We're going to school today. I often want to take this off so you can see really, oh, there he is, so you can really see him. One specific thing on the vlogging agenda today, my empties are spilling out all over my desk and onto the floor, so we're gonna get to my garbage in a bit. It's also election day in Canada, so I got my voter card. I will be going to vote at some point before 7 p.m., get my winter tires on, another very quintessential Canadian thing to be getting your winter tires on in October. We don't have snow yet, but there's been snow like on the mountains around, so it's just a matter of time. And for some reason, I find most people panic once it snows and forgets that it, it's gonna snow, so then it's like takes like weeks to get your tires on. Same with like once it gets cold, it's like weeks to get your furnace checked, so I'm trying to be a little proactive today. wondering why my bathroom cabinet is here well <laughs> the bathroom that that is in ordinarily uh, the toilet was replaced last night and in order to get that cabinet off things had to happen and now I need to get some brackets to attach it to the wall because it's too wobbly so my bathroom cabinet everybody <laughs> and then now I have so many empties here on my desk if you've never seen an empties before, I basically just keep my <clears throat> like lotions and hair stuff and makeup and beauty products. And then once I feel like I have enough, I will sit here and go through them before I recycle them to tell you whether or not I recommend them. We're gonna start with my essential oils. As no surprise, I went through two of the doTERRA past tense roller balls. These are my absolute favorite. These have been a game changer when it comes to headaches or any kind of like neck pain, muscle pain, that sort of thing. Um, I love them so much. I think they are untouched. Like there's just, there's nothing as good as, as these. I keep one in my gym bag, one in my purse, one on my bedside table, one in my car. And it's really helped reduce the amount of like Motrin that I have to take. I wish they came in giant bottles and I could just refill these but this is the one thing I buy from doTERRA that I love so much oh my goodness um this is the Woolsey's sleep blend um essential oil mix this is my absolute favorite sleepy time one if you ever see it, please let me know because rather than the only way right now to buy it, I think is on the website and it's American, so it's a little bit pricey. I found it in Winners initially and bought it on a whim and oh, it's so magical. Um, I'm not sure if it'll tell me. Oh, it's lavender, chamomile, orange, sandalwood, white lotus, vetiver, patchouli, ylang ylang, bergamot. It is the best sleepy time scent. I have an oil diffuser right beside my bed and I always diffuse before bedtime and this one's magical. I'll be asking Santa for that for sure. Then another bedtime one, just 100% pure lavender. This is the Now brand, which I find at Nature's Fair and I do really like this. Another Now one I finished was called Clean the Air. It was a purify purifying blend which was quite minty. I like it for cold and flu season, and I also just like it because it smells fresh, and again, if I have a headache, it's nice to have that minty scent. Peppermint, eucalyptus, rosemary, that sort of thing. One from Hometics, another relax blend. This was a gift in like a three set, um, I think from my sister, 
and it was lovely. Every single day I diffuse in my bedroom and in Thomas's bedroom overnight just to kind of keep things smelling good and helping us sleep and relax and doing whatever we can for that good sleep hygiene. So those ones I love. And then this was a small one from Sage, which I went through so quickly, I can't believe it. It's called Daydream. And it came with a diffuser that I only hauled like two weeks ago and it's already done. It was just a little like almost a sample size one, this one from Sage. I will say I really like the quality of the Sage oils and the Now oils and the Woolsey ones. You have to be really careful with essential oils. Like if you're buying them from a place like Winners, just stand there and Google it and make sure that they have good reviews because not all essential oils are made equal. Those are ones that I've used up since we last did an empties. I finally threw out my original Naked Basics palette because it was so old and the color payoff had stopped. And I'm not gonna show it to you because it's discontinued. So there's just no point. But I've been trying to go through my makeup and get rid of stuff that's just like so old. You know, makeup does have an expiry and I went through a phase years ago where I was buying a ton of makeup but I wasn't using it up fast enough so now I have a much smaller collection and I'm trying to use it. Anyway, um, these are some of the things that I've finished. Two of the K-Pure Smooch Super Moisturizing Vanilla Lip Balms. One of these was definitely a gift from a marathoner. I actually think both of them were. The K-Pure brand is really clean, really nice, really safe. So. Um, these were a really good lip balm. I'll just show it to you in case you want to see if you're making notes or this is the K Pure Smooch. <clears throat> Turns out not all essence mascaras are made equal. This is the Lash Princess and this is the Volume Mascara. They were out of the one I normally get, which looks exactly the same, but it's teal and it's like the false lash effect. I think that's what it's called. And so I got this one instead and it was a fight to finish it. I didn't like it. My lashes didn't like it. Um, I much prefer the one that I'm using now. I mean, I've said this before. I am very happy with that Essence Mascara. It works better than any high-end one I've tried. And I've tried some crazy expensive mascaras. So this one wasn't for me, but I do definitely recommend the one that looks exactly the same, but it's teal. <laughs> These are two that I have bought over and over and over again, both from Marcel, both the Flawless Skin Fusion line. One's a foundation, one's a concealer. I've buff beige and fair. Um, as you can tell, I mean, it's nice packaging, it's glass, it's made in Canada, it's paraben free, uh, perfume free, all things free. Um, but what I was gonna mention was, one of you gave me a tool that helps scrape out product and I wanted to say thank you because I got so, like this was to the bare bones, I feel like I really got my money's worth. This is the mat this is the um, foundation that I've been using and I will say I do like it but it does like oxidize and sort of fade throughout the day. I have started to be more diligent in using an elf primer and that makes my makeup stay on so much better. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. Then this is the matching concealer from Marcel. It's not my favorite, but it's my favorite from the drugstore, and I do like this brand. Oh, speaking of primers, this is just the e.l.f. Sheer Eyelid Primer. This is so cheap and so good. <laughs> I've been using this for, I don't, not this exact one, but this product for years and it's, it's great. Currently I'm trying out a Morphe eyeshadow primer just because I was in the Morphe store in Vegas and I needed one and I thought, let's try it. It was also inexpensive. I think it was only 10 bucks. So, but this is great. I really like e.l.f. I think they are, like they're so inexpensive, but the products act as if they're a much higher price point, if that makes sense. I bought this last summer when I was in Philly. I bought it in Ulta. It's the Shape Tape Setting Powder from Tarte and finally <laughs> used it up. It was nice. Uh, I also brought the brush that goes with it and Thomas commandeered it. So it now sits in my car and he likes to play with it 
when we're in the car, when we're at IGA. This was nice, but I won't, I won't repurchase it. Finish the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray. This is the one that has aloe and cucumber in it. I love it, but I do prefer the rose one. So that one, the rose one I buy now in the bigger bottle off Amazon, and then I just constantly refill a small one. But this is nice. It's cooling, especially if you leave it in the fridge. It's like really refreshing in the summertime. It's great. I like Mario Badescu products, that's for sure. Where to go from here? All right, let's keep with the face, shall we? No surprise here. We have one, two, three, four products from Dermavigils. The cleanser with DMS, the eye gel plus, the day cream, and the night cream. Oh, all we're missing is the toner. This is the skincare brand that I've been using for three and a half years. My neighbor's outside. Hi, staring at me. Great, cool. And um, it just really works for my skin. Uh, so, yes have repurchased, will repurchase. Another face product, this is the uh, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. This was such a hyped product, so I bought it off Sephora and I used it to the bitter end because it was very pricey. I don't know, I don't, I didn't see it, like, I didn't see a massive change. I like the eye gel from um, Dermavigils. I've never, tried an eye cream and thought, wow, that does make it look like I got eight hours of sleep. So if you know one, let me know. <clears throat> this I'm just throwing out because it's expired and I'm a little bit disappointed in myself that I didn't finish it. I also probably didn't need to get it, but I was very intrigued to try it because a few marathoners had suggested it to me. It's the Pixie uh, Plus Caroline Hirons Double Cleanse. I know lots of people swear by this, they love this. And if I didn't have my Derma Vituals, maybe I would try it, like try to use it more. So it's a cleansing oil and then it's a cleansing cream. So it's like a double step product. I would use this at night when I was taking off my makeup. So you use the oil and you massage it and then you wash your face with the cream. It was very nice, but it's just old now. So I'm getting rid of it, but I would try it. I think I just bought this at Walmart. Shoppers. I think this is in every single empties. It's another one of the Marcel pack of makeup remover iPads. So this one is oil free. I think there's also one that's good for sensitive eyes. They're just good to take off your eye makeup. Recommend. Okay, we are getting down to it. This was just a little baby of the Rose Jam Shower Gel. I love it from Lush. It only comes out at Christmas. It smells like magic. It's my favorite. It's usually on the Christmas list or I treat myself to it. Beautiful. Drying. But beautiful. Speaking of dry skin, this was something that was suggested to me last time I was in the body shop. It's the uh, Body Shop Coconut Exfoliating Cream Body Scrub. It is nice. It does feel good. It does help. An exfoliant does make my skin feel really nice, like soft and rich and moisturized. It definitely makes a difference. I'm just not very good at keeping up on it. I probably only do it like once every 10 days or so. But this one was very nice. Body Shop does make some nice um, exfoliants, and I liked this one because it was a cream. Wow, these empties are always so long. Okay, uh, this is the Sugar Crush Soap and Glory Fresh and Foamy Body Wash. I flipping loved this. I only bought this in August because I accidentally forgot body wash while we went on vacation at the beginning of the month and it's already finished, which is kind of a record for me, especially considering this is 500 mils. Now this is not the quintessential Soap and Glory scent. This is the lime one, but it's so fresh and so beautiful. I just gotta give it one more sniff before I recycle it. Oh my gosh. It kind of reminds me of Coca-Cola and I don't know why, but love this. Would definitely repurchase. If you ever wanna try and find Soap and Glory products and you live in Canada, I usually find them at Shoppers. Another body product. This has been in an empties ever since one of you bought it for me for Christmas three years ago. The Aromatherapy Sleep Lavender and Cedarwood Hand Lotion from the uh, Bath and Body Works. Like, she gets it all. <laughs> like, there's, no, <laughs> there's nothing left in this tube. I have bought this for a few people and everyone I bought it for loves it. And my favorite is when I buy it for someone who 
doesn't treat themselves to stuff or they just like buy whatever cheap lotion and then they like I bought this for someone and she's like I think it actually helps me sleep so the scent is beautiful 10 out of 10 will be repurchasing this for sure right now I'm just working through the sleep hand lotion from Lush and then I'll go back to this Okay, speaking of sleep, I finished a mag oil from So Luxury. This was the moon mag. That's why it has the um, rocks on the bottom, like the crystals. You can see that. I've gone on and on and on about this product. I'm not going to in this video, but thank you for coming into my life. Just thank you. Okay, and the last thing in this... No, no, there's two more left. Another lotion from the body shop i feel like i don't even need to tell you what this is because it's in every single empties but i will um the tag's gone off it so i've already repurchased it this is the ethiopian cream ethiopian green coffee cream body lotion this has been my favorite for a couple of years now i put it on after i get out of the shower it doesn't really have a deep scent which i like because i like to wear a fragrance just makes my skin really nice <laughs> makes it soft makes it smooth you can put jeans on after it what else can you ask for and then the last thing to show you is the shampoo dry shampoo from Aveda a friend of mine got me onto this I want to say it was last year yeah last year and it took a while for me to get used to using a powder dry shampoo instead of an aerosol but it's been so great and it is so much more cost effective. I only buy, I would say two a year instead of like a Batiste I go through in probably like three weeks. So it is a little bit pricey. I think it's about $40, but it lasts me six months. Maybe it lasts five. So maybe I'm buying like just a little, maybe two and a half a year, but regardless, it's great. My hair, I can, like, I washed it this morning. That's why it's looking <laughs> great. And then, so today's Monday. I won't wash my hair again until Thursday, maybe even Friday. And this stuff is awesome. That's the empties. So, a couple of duds, but honestly, most of them are just repeat offenders because when I know what I like, now I'm just at a point where if I'm going to spend my money on something, I want it to be something that I enjoy. I will still try some new stuff, but um, when you know, you know. So this is going to end up being a really long vlog. We'll see where the day takes us. I'm going to nap. I'm going to work. I won't show you any of that. But once I get my car back, we'll go vote. And I guess we'll just see where the day takes us today, friend. It is now 4.30. What have you missed? Leftovers for lunch. A nap where I didn't even roll over. I napped so hard. Hashtag nap so hard. Uh, been working on formatting my book. I think I figured out the template. And I've been watching some tu tutorials. And I'm feeling very like self-made hurrah about it. Picked up my car, obviously. Winter tires on. Went to Cobbs and got my favorite Cape Seed bread. This is the bread I'm always like going on and on about. It's got protein in it. It's vegan. It's delicious. And now, where is it? Voter card. Oh, don't want to show you my info. Voter card in hand. We're going to vote. It is bumping here let me just tell you there's cars coming in and out there's people of all ages all generations i'm so excited i get so excited and emotional to vote like i love it i love it i feel so blessed and so grateful that my parents immigrated and chose a country in which i have the freedom to vote and the right to vote as a woman thanks mom thanks dad okay i'm gonna go vote now ultimate cozy in effect already i am obsessed with twinkle lights as you know there's even some over there we got some twinkle lights going on over here and then i thought i would show you i just went and bought a few things at iga i realized this is going to be a long vlog but when i post like day in the life vlogs like this i get so many lovely comments saying this is what you love so here we are i don't know if i've ever said this in a video before but like maybe four years ago now, my goodness, I sent a message to some marathoners asking them what they would want me to focus my channel on. And 
the resounding reply was everything. So <laughs> that's why you see such a mix of stuff. And I like it. Showed you the bread. Thomas loves these pretzel buns from IGA. Got some new chips to try. Kettle cooked ketchup chips, if you're not Canadian. That's a quintessential Canadian flavor, but I've never tried that brand before. I always get a giant thing of spinach. I find this is the kind that lasts the longest. Green onion. Thomas's favorite rice. I wish I could buy it bulk and it would be ready in one minute. It's just so handy. I'm not a rice person, I don't really like it. Corn, and I like this California blend of frozen veg. They were on two for $5. And I like to have frozen veg at hand because it's so simple and so quick and so easy. Often I'll do some frozen mixed veg, some tofu and some quinoa and that's a really easy, fast lunch or dinner, especially because I usually do about one to two cups of quinoa at a time and then just leave it in the fridge. Hummus, which I'm starting to think I should probably just make my own. Thomas's fave. And then this I've never had before. This is the Silk Oat, yeah, oat beverage. Instead, they didn't have my normal unsweetened cashew milk. So I'll let you know. I just have to show you my candle. Everything just looks so like cozy right now. I love this little candle holder, which is very old from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Comes out at, you know, Thanksgiving, Halloween era. I think I'm just gonna say goodnight here because I'm gonna go work until respite drops off Thomas. I'm gonna make a salad for dinner, which you've seen a million and six times. I'm gonna read to Thomas and then I'm gonna go to bed. So thanks for watching. Lace up, subscribe, become a marathoner. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Let me know what was your favorite thing in my empties. If you like any of those products, do you recommend any other eye cream or concealer? Those would be suggestions. I would be open to trying new stuff. I'll let you know how this milk goes. Also, the frother update. This $9.99 bad boy from Canadian Tire. Game changer, game changer. I love it, I've used it every single day. So, in case you're wondering, put that in your stocking. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm not gonna be going to bed after Thomas goes to bed. I'm gonna be like nerdily watching the election coverage. That's what I'm gonna be doing, okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate that you're here. I appreciate your excitement for the book. It's coming, it's so close. Like we're formatting it, friend. And I think that means we're close. I've never done this before, but that's what I'm told. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.